I'm Stephanie Rule, and I am with you today. Coronavirus is sending our economic lives into a tailspin. I know it is scary. I know there is so much up in the air, but I can tell you we are in this together, and I'm here to help you out. Right now, people across this country, for the first time, are suddenly finding themselves out of work. And when it's time to start paying bills, things can get really hard. And it's really hard to stay on top of everything if you don't have a steady income. And since only 40% of Americans have enough cash on hand for a $400 emergency, a lot of people right now are wondering how on earth they're going to make it. So if you are finding yourself short of cash, here's a few ways to get ahead of your debts. First, just take a deep breath. You are not alone. And the government is taking concrete steps to help. Last week's economic relief bill protected paid leave for people who are sick and people who are taking care of sick family members. Some states are making it illegal for landlords and lenders to evict anyone who is late on mortgage or rent payments. Service providers, they're actually being lenient too. It's a lot different than 2008. But the thing is, you cannot fix your problems unless you face them and unless you tell people what's going on. So please, if you cannot pay a bill, if you need an extension, I'm begging you, call your service provider today. A lot of utility companies are being flexible, especially in the harder hit states like New York and California. And if you're having trouble, let's say paying for groceries or other basic necessities, this is an emergency. Go on to benefits.gov. Look into your local social service agencies, food banks, shelters. These are essential services. They have expanded their benefits and they're here to help everybody. Finally, Look into online tools that can help you. Apps like Truebill, Clarity, and Mint, they will help you monitor your budget and link to your bank account so you can track every bit of your spending. There's other new tools like PayActive that can help you get your paycheck sooner. And if you are putting these bills on a credit card, please call your lender and ask for an extension on your payments. You can also ask for potentially lowered interest rates or maybe even waive the late fees. Here's what I know. You're not going to know the answer until you ask the question. And if your job has been impacted by COVID-19, you better file for unemployment today. That money is there to help you pay your bills. I realize if you go to apply, if you call the unemployment office and the line is busy, do not get discouraged. The money is there. It's going to get to you. And if you haven't filed your taxes yet, please do. You need to file your taxes to get that rebate check from the government. For people who make $99,000 or less, you could be eligible for up to $1,200, but you're not going to get that check unless you file your taxes. I know you're overwhelmed, but I promise you, there is a lot out there. There are tools to help you, and we are doing this with you today and every day.